What is going on everybody, this is Raycast here. Today I have a pretty long video. I'm going to be talking about E3 and kind of two main publishers and two games that I would like to see in two companies, what I would like to see from them. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to talk about Activision and what I want to see from Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So, for Infinite Warfare, there's a lot of people that are not sold on the game or have completely just pushed it aside because they just hate the futuristic stuff and they just don't accept it to be Call of Duty and the thrusters and everything. So, in order for them to try and do a little bit of damage control, I think they need to show off a really cool single player because they did push the multiplayer reveal back to uh, COD XP, which, I mean... I don't really mind that because COD XP is going to be awesome. So it will just add it on to the anticipation to see if Infinite Warfare is going to be a good Call of Duty. Now, there's so many people on the board that, you know, Activision, I can really see them showing a lot for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Just showing a lot of that because maybe they haven't shown full confidence in Infinite Warfare. And um, there's so many people on the edge with that. I could really see them just showing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered to try and get people hyped and just get people in a good mood. And then maybe edge in Infinite Warfare single player just to try and see what people's reaction to seeing actual like gameplay of it. I'm excited to see actual gameplay of it. I put. I pushed aside Infinite Warfare after I saw the trailer. I hated the trailer so much. And, um, I have been happy seeing it get its dislikes and stuff because I want Activision to, s like, I'm sa so happy that the Call of Duty community is fighting back. Um, telling them that these aren't the type of games that we want. And they're actually finally seeing what we've been thinking for a while ever since advanced warfare but um i think that they're probably since the infinite warfare multiplayer i mean single player is a bit different um i think they're gonna show a good bit of it though they'll probably show a, a level and then the um player hub and some of the things with the jackal they'll probably showcase that a lot which the jackal is the spaceship that you have um, yeah, I can't believe I just said that, talking about a Call of Duty game, the spaceship that you have. But, um, I'm excited to see how it is, and to see the thrusting, how much it is, and Black Ops 3, you know, as much as I don't really enjoy the game that much, the movement is pretty, pretty good, you know, if they're gonna do thrust jumps, at least do it either Black Ops 3 or below because Black Ops 3's movement wasn't too crazy wall running was a little crazy but um the movement system itself was pretty um pretty dumbed down for the th thrust jumps when you know cause I've gone back and played Advanced Warfare and Advanced Warfare is pretty crazy but um I am really excited to see Modern Warfare Remastered I'm not really sure entirely what they're gonna show of that um you know I I hope you know, it, it, I could see them doing this, honestly. Just to get everybody really hyped. I could see them showing the mission all gillied up um, from Modern Warfare Remastered. Because that mission is probably amazing looking. I could see them showing all gillied up and then showing a bit of multiplayer. But, um, I'm, um, extremely excited to see some more Call of Duty Remastered. Um, and then I'm still excited to see events, I mean, um, Infinite Warfare, just to see how it is, like, to see actual gameplay of it, because I've judged it a lot, and my kind of final thing of, am I gonna get, well, I'm gonna get the game, I pre-ordered it for Modern Warfare Remastered, but, um, this will just be my kind of verdict on the game, because once I see this, I'll be able to judge the game, like, um, if I see anything from the single player that, like, gets me excited, then that'll be good. But, I, um, I'll just have to judge it off of that. 
But now we're going to be talking about what I am expecting from Bethesda at E3, which this is all positive here. Now, a lot of things have been leaked. Well, not a lot of things, a couple things. Skyrim Remastered has been leaked. I already made a video on that. So I think they'll definitely show that. And then, I'm just going to say it. I think they're going to tease Elder Scrolls 6 or... And I, I think, no, this is what I think, this is what I think. I think they're going to announce that Elder Scrolls 6 is in development and maybe gave us a na name for the game. Um, I can't see them being too far into development for it because usually they pick up development like a week or two after the launch of their brand new title. That's what they did for, um, I mean, they usually start development after like a week after... Um, all the DLCs come out for the new title and Fallout 4 has a good bit of DLC coming up still so I what it I if they're gonna do anything on Elder Scrolls 6 I could see them just announcing that in development maybe giving us a name for it and then I could see Dishonored 2 because that was already confirmed to be being shown at um, E3 excuse me uh, Dishonored 2 was already said to be well it was basically confirmed to be at E3 um new IPs I can't really see anything too much maybe announce it or or maybe shown off some um Elder Scrolls Online DLC not entirely sure with that but I think they're gonna show a chunk a chunk of time on Skyrim Remastered and show some gameplay because you know that's gonna get a lot of people hyped and then talk a little bit about ESO, uh, DLC, some Dishonored, and then um, maybe say ESO, Elder Scrolls 6 is in development. Now, if they're going to say Elder Scrolls 6 is in development, I see them just, because Bethesda likes to set up their events, like, to kind of be like suspenseful and like storybook, in a way, how they did with Fallout 4, and then... I can see them just ending off all of that, just saying, and also, Elder Scrolls 6 is in development. Just like some kind of storybook ending to Bethesda E3 type of thing. Um, I can see them doing that. Now, the thing is though, would they really announce that? Like, because with Fallout 4, they really fucking did not talk about that game till it was finished they didn't reveal it until the game was finished so if they keep that trend we won't see E Elder Scrolls 6 till like 2000 like 17 2018 something like that which is worrisome because that's gonna leave a lot of Elder Scrolls fans in some type of a dry spout but um hopefully what I just said is how it goes because I do think that they would do that I don't, unless they announce a new IP which they could because they have th three projects they were st said they're working on but um yeah so those are my thoughts on what I expect from those two companies from E3 thank you for watching see you guys in this video I will be live streaming my um I will be live streaming me watching E3 so when that happens I'll tweet it out and um I'll make sure you guys know if you want guys welcome check by ch check by my live stream and put it down in the description like I always do and I'll see you guys later uh, I'll see you